Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Transport Fever 2, Tropical Fun, and uh, we're sitting here on one of the boats that, uh, that uh, I launched last time around. Uh, we're heading for uh, Reno Central, which I really need to rename some of these uh, stations and so on, don't I? Uh, with uh, 20 planks on board. Now, uh, this is uh, obviously going to take a while. Uh, we're running here with the afterburners on, as you can see. Well, now we're running here with the afterburners on, which is going to make us ill very quickly. But I didn't want to sit here for 10 minutes waiting for the, uh, the ship to, uh, to get to its uh, destination. Uh, but this is uh, seriously uh, nausea-inducing, so I'm going to um, drop it back to uh, no afterburners. So we can see the dock up there. Uh, so this will uh, ultimately arrive over at the dock here. It will... Uh, uh, then jump start producing uh, some tools here, which will eventually make their way over to Reno, which will eventually make a couple of dollars. Now, uh, let's put the afterburners back on so that uh, we can see how much this is actually going to earn. Uh, the goal this time is to get enough cash in the bank that we can launch a train on that train line that we built last time around. Uh, right. Okay, the boat arrived, and we got 120,000. For a, a one-third load, that's not bad. Okay, now it's going to go back over here, acquire some logs. I'm going to need more boats. Yep, I definitely need more boats. Uh, right, so let's uh, manage vehicle. We have, how much does it cost to duplicate it? Well, we don't have enough money. Right, okay, so how much is that thing? Uh, no. 550k, okay. Do we have any loan? No. Right, okay. So, uh, this will make money, uh, because the next time around it's going to be a full load uh, leaving the, uh, uh, leaving the uh, uh, Reno Forest. You know what? I'm going to rename these things. So, this is Reno Forest, right? So, we'll call this Reno Forest. And uh, this is Reno Tools Factory. And you know what, because my CDO is not going to let me uh, forget it, I'll fix that. And this will be uh, Reno Tools Factory. Yeah. And this one over here is Lincoln Sawmill. And again, my CDO won't let me uh, leave that alone. Uh, and this is going to be Lincoln Sawmill. Right, okay, yeah, that's better. Uh, where's the boat? Uh, yeah, we got a full load there. And it's going to arrive over here at Lincoln. Uh, and what we can probably do is bring another set of uh, logs up this way and uh, drop them here as well because this is two logs to one planks and uh, obviously uh, then we can you know get this uh, rolling better uh, but yep the boats uh, the boats happy though uh, you know, we'll see what kind of uh, income this provides uh, it's gonna come in here in the, yeah da -de -da -de -dum. right uh, income. Oh, that's a nice view, actually. Oh, there's a sandbar there. Uh, right. Uh, so the boat slides into the dock. 240k. Well, in that case, manage vehicle. Duplicate. Yeah, because I think we can put four 
three or four on there and it will uh, it will pay uh, just because of how long it takes to get around um, where is the is we're up to hunt you know, like we're way overflowing the dock there so where is this going that's ship three uh, that ship four. No, that shouldn't be going to the sawmill. We should send that to the forest, right? Uh, okay, so that's going to uh, lose money for a bit. Uh, right. Okay, so we were messing around over here by Thornton. Uh, so we can ignore those guys for a bit. Now. I need to fling a train all the way down this way. Now, I could uh, repurpose this train to go the whole way, but it already takes long enough that I don't think that's a smart move. Uh, so, I need a train that's going to go all the way down to Garland. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so if we... I'm just going to pin that and stick that over in the corner there. Uh, right. Okay, so... Yeah, it's got 70 logs on board. It's headed for the sawmill. Right. Uh, okay, so in here... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to need... A train uh, so let's just see how locos what have we got well uh, we can do 55 well what do we have for passenger wagons the Bavarian passenger takes eight uh, and is seven tons uh, you know what that is our car so we need a loco that does about 50 that's 55 190 kilowatts that does 45 45 55 um yeah the gv i think or we could go with the class t which is cheaper yeah we'll go with the class t and the Bavarian passenger car, I think. Um, we're going to need 1.15 mil for that. For 32 capacity. Uh, yeah. So we need to get up to 1.15 mil. Uh, yeah, so we're up to just about half a mil here now. Um, well, a third of a mil, anyway. Uh, yeah. So we picked up 35 planks, which is right. So it's a two to, two to one. Uh, and we're headed for the uh, tools factory there. Uh, so, yeah, the, the ships are going to make some money. They're going to make some serious money when they, uh, when they get everything operating. Uh... Right. I'm thinking maybe I should I should bring logs up from that other forest, you know, bring them up by road. Yeah, I can get that operational. Maybe. Uh is that the right move? I'm not sure. I probably should do that. Probably. Uh, yeah. Yeah, is it's going to take uh, bloody forever to uh, to get enough cash to do that. Okay, so let's um, go back over here. Uh, right. Uh, where are we picking up the? Okay, we're picking up logs there. But we can also, uh, yeah, we can run the run a, a truck line here. Uh, so 
buildings, truck station, uh, right. Okay, so we'll put it, say, here. And then we'll put another one, say, say here. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to need a, a, a whatcha who's it here. Uh, we'll, we'll wang that in here. And then we'll go in here. We'll buy some cargo trucks. Um, I think we're going to need... We're going to need at least that many. Um, are we... Um, well, we'll we'll go with no. We'll go with that many. No, I can't type that many. Uh, we'll buy those. Now, a new line that's going to go here to here. Yep, and this is going to be cargo trucks, and this is going to be Lincoln. Forest to Lincoln. Uh, that's going to be, uh, yeah, sawmill. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Now, this is Lincoln Forest. So this should be Lincoln Forest. And this one over here. We'll also call this Lincoln Sawmill. Right. So that'll get us some more uh, some more cash coming in as the uh, as we've got some logs on these things. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna have some uh, some logs on those things. Uh, as this thing gets uh, operational, right? Uh, so that'll get us uh, more logs going to... Uh, or more planks going across to the uh, Reno uh, Tools Factory, right? Uh, and that should mean we get a little bit more cash coming in from these. Uh, we definitely need more boats. But that's definitely going to give us a little bit more cash coming in. Right. Yeah, this is uh, one of the problems in the early going where you end up with uh, just a lot of waiting. Uh, right. Why isn't that... Well, it's still ramping up, that's why. Uh, right. Yeah, so we're going to have... So we picked up... You know, we got a boat here. We picked up 41 of, uh, of a possible 70 uh, uh, planks here instead of 35. Uh, why is it uh, 41? We left some... Oh, right, because we dropped off logs, that's why. Uh, we're up to 400. Uh, we'll manage this. Uh, we want to duplicate that when we hit if we hit 550. Uh, yeah, not enough money. Right. Uh, I want to get. I, yeah, I think I want to get four boats on there just because of the length of the uh, of the line. Uh, you know, just um, just to uh, to get. Uh, get a more steady uh, income I mean this uh, this boats up up uh, 150k so uh, we definitely make money on that now over here uh, are, we, are we making yeah we're making money on the delivery into Reno as well so that's good uh, yeah might need a few more uh, 
uh, delivery vehicles there as well. Um, okay, that got us another uh, another boat, which we can, which is going to Reno Forest. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, good. So it should pick up. Yep, it picked up seventy of them. Uh, so we'll need one more of those, I think. Uh, and that should get that uh, that rolling along. Uh, how's this doing? Yeah, so we're uh, we're picking up a fair bit there. Uh, right, where's the... Okay, the third one is just about coming in here. I might want a fifth one on here, actually. But that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be... Uh, going to be expanding the uh, the ship line here uh, just to get the volume up uh, right so this is going to give 240k right uh, and we're coming up over here and you're going to leave with 52. Okay. Ah, we can duplicate. Good. Now where's ship six going? Uh, to the forest. Yep. Now how many are uh, hanging out here? Yeah. So we're we have lots of room for uh, for more capacity on the line here uh, right okay uh, now if we can uh, hit 550 once more I'll go ahead and uh, do the same thing again and uh, I think that'll be enough for this time this uh, messing with the route is if we can get to 550 one more time and then we'll get five five ships on the line, uh, and that will, uh, I think, provide enough uh, uh, provide enough stability on the income that uh, uh, that everything uh, uh, th th that it won't be uh, so volatile that we can't accomplish anything. Uh, then it's a question of getting enough money to buy a train. Uh, right, because that track that we put in last time is, of course, costing us money. Now, uh, now if I uh, bring this up, uh, we only lost 5K last, last uh, accounting period with a 550K purchase, and we're positive this accounting period uh, with a 550k purchase. So uh, we're definitely uh, starting to turn things around here for cash wise and, that, and that's kind of what I kind of what I was hoping with this shipping line here. I was kind of hoping that it would do just that. Uh, as I've seen from uh, YouTubers like uh, the Colonel and uh, Stealth and uh, uh, others that uh, that the uh, the the boats are insanely profitable. Uh, is there relatively low cost and relatively high capacity, even if they're slow? Uh, okay, so we can put another one on here, and that one is going to the forest. Okay, uh, so. Uh, so even with 1.1 mil in uh, spending, uh, we had 198k profit in the previous accounting term. So I think uh, I think that's got things to the point uh, where I can ignore this uh, shipping line here. Uh, except I need to I think uh, add a few more vehicles onto here. Not enough money to do that, huh? Well, now there is. Okay, now, 
Uh, we should eat, we should quickly get enough cash that I can go back over here, wherever here is, and uh, look into acquiring that train, uh, which I decided was going to be the Class T, and I was going to grab the Bavarian passenger cars. So we need 1.4 uh, mil. Uh, to get a 32 capacity. Uh, I think I'm going to want 48, but that's a 2 mil uh, hit. Anyway, uh, this should uh, accumulate up relatively quickly as the ships come in. Uh, and then uh, we should be able to get, at least launch the train uh, this time around. Uh, if the uh, cash builds up enough, uh, I should be able to launch the train. And then uh, it'll be a case of... Uh, now, what, uh, what to do uh, after we launch this train? Well, uh, we can possibly... Well, let's see how Thornton's doing. Yeah, okay, so there's no point ramping up this line. Uh, launching the, this um, this route here should actually uh, increase our passenger uh, profits quite a bit. Uh, just because it's a second destination for everything here, and we've got the passenger ship ships going to Greensboro as well. And that uh, for every uh, additional connection you get in, uh, the network effect makes. Uh, makes it subs that much better right so we're up to 800k now uh well 680k now uh so that means that uh you know the the ships are uh, paying off nicely and if we look in here uh, we see water uh 430k uh 600k now 800k uh in one uh, one year uh, uh, so right now, water and road is uh, making us money, and rail is kind of a wash. A, a bit of a net positive, but still kind of a wash. Like, we almost made a million uh, last, last period. Now, uh, so what, uh, what, what, you would, what would we do next around here? Well, I'm thinking... We might want to get steel production online. We got a steel mill here. We don't have coal anywhere. No, we don't. We have oh we have coal up here. That we can bring No wait, no, we can we can build steel all around Grand Rapids. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll end up doing. Uh, brings bring iron and coal in to the steel mill here and then bring the steel around to well what do we have something demanding well garland's demanding uh, machines yeah and uh, Thornton is uh, demanding uh, uh, machines and Sacramento uh, so three of them are demanding machines so getting this machines uh, production online that is what I want to do since I've got planks being produced and I can ramp this up uh, and I've got a steel mill I can get online up here uh, relatively easily yeah and since it's uh, Two to one, two iron, two coal to one steel. Um, yeah, having two of these, uh, two of each of these feeding into there. Yeah, that will um, potentially three of each actually. Oh, all the coals all around here. Okay, so maybe I grab the coal from further away. Maybe, or I could just yeah. I'll have to think about that one. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I think maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try bringing this steel production online next time, maybe, if I remember. Uh, right, 
so um, oh yeah we've got enough uh, enough cash here uh, so let's uh, right uh, it was gonna be was it the class T yeah it was a class T with the Bavarian passenger cars we'll buy one of those now uh, we need to launch that on a new line which will go from here to here yeah and that's gonna be passenger rail from uh, what was I THNT to Garland which I'm calling Gar right okay right okay we'll uh, we'll do that now where's the uh, this thing here uh, right okay so we've launched a train uh, let's ride the train shall we now we're in turbo mode because I don't want this to take a month of yesterday's or tomorrow's or whatever. Uh, oh, this uh, this scenery looks kind of nice coming uh, coming along here on the flats with the clouds behind the mountains there. Uh, well, that uh, crossing's not terrible either. Okay, we're coming around through the gap, and we'll be coming up on Garland. where we will almost certainly pick up maybe one passenger and we're gonna pick up more than one we got eight um, yeah I clearly need to uh, fix up some bits with this rail uh, anyway I think I was intending to have it be a through a through stop at Garland, but regardless, uh, we're coming along here. Yeah, it looks like uh, well, let's uh, duck out of here. Uh, I want to see how much it brings in with eight passengers. Okay, so we got to cross over here. Did I forget to put the crossover at the other end? Maybe I did. But there's no signals either. 43k. And we're going to take 7 back. Okay. Now, is there a crossover here? No. Okay. Well, that would be a problem. Uh, okay. Now there's a crossover there. And I can put a signal here I can go way over here and I can put a signal here and that didn't make it complain now I'll put a couple more signals along here so I don't forget when the time comes to fling more trains up here right This is a fairly long line, actually. Uh, we got 39k for that. We're taking 17 back, so it's betting in now. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay, so that's definitely going to work. Now, uh, we're up to 1.1 million here. Uh, so that's uh, kind of nice. Uh well, I'm going to repay a bit of the loan just because we're still earning small enough amounts that uh, knocking 10k off the, the period expenses is not necessarily a bad idea. Right, okay, so that's, uh, that's getting that operational. Well, let's check in again over here. Uh, right, okay, we're keeping up there. Uh, how are things looking over here? Yeah, not so terrible. Uh, right. So, yeah, that's uh, that's okay. 
this here yeah I'm not quite transporting the maximum there uh, I'm transporting everything produced there okay yeah okay uh, that that seems that seems fine uh, yeah yep that definitely seems fine okay well, uh, I think that's enough for this time around. Got the shipping line uh, profitable. Uh, got uh, the train flung up the line there. And uh, we're making some decent progress on the cash situation. So, um, so I guess, uh, yeah, that should be all for this time. Uh, should be back uh, next week, probably Monday, uh, with the next part of this. Uh, at which point I think I'll be embarking on the project to bring steel production online. Uh, anyway, until then, uh, that's all for now.